This is it, week 13, street stock racing from Charlotte. Home track for me. I would love to pull off a win here today. We got 20 laps to get it done. But with these street stock cars, man, the mile per hour range is going to be very slow. We are going to be pack racing. We are going to be bump drafting and no yellow flags here today. So if we crash, we crash. Game over. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's go ahead and jump into the content. Qualified inside of the top five. I know how difficult it is to pass around here so i'm happy to just get a good qualifying lap in i really hope we can keep it up here obviously leading this race will probably be the safest position but expect a massive crash on lap number one i'm putting everything on the line here today i want to come home a winner from my home track i really want to get it done here at charlotte we're going to be aggressive try get to the end in one piece and if we do that man i think we're going to have a great shot at the win it's all about survival and it's all about being there man coming to the restart zone when will the leader fire off when we take him to the green flag we're there boys and the green flag is out he went on the green we are already almost three wide going into turn number one and two here let's see what we have we're side by side with the three car the four can hop down and that's exactly what he's going to do right there now the outside is not holding up very strong i think we're going to get around that number six car that will put me all the way up to position number four but i don't know the outside is definitely coming back the 15 is going to go up there the 15 is going to go up and block the outside side can he go up there and take the lead look at the launch that four car just got off turn number three and four i mean he's hauling it i think the six might come down i don't know he's keeping it high man he must be liking it up there somehow some way we're not dead yet after lap number one i'm sure there's gonna be a fatality coming up soon please don't take him three wide four car i know he thought about it look at the bump drafting up front that is definitely something you do not want to see but it's almost necessary at this track if you want to win but the bumps are getting a little bit extreme stream up there from the outside groove these tires are still cold i think the wrecking behind us the three got shot up the hill he's gonna save it he got dead sideways now look at all the chaos going on in front of me everyone's tucking down to the bottom sideways goes to number six man oh my goodness where do we want to be everyone's hogging up that bottom groove right now i might try to take him on the outside if we can get it done up here we do have a tiny gap to the guys behind us so i am feeling pretty happy about that but this six looks like an expert bump drafter man i mean he is a shoving everyone around here very sideways i think everyone's very low on grip i might need to get around this number six he's looking a little bit dangerous here guys in front of me are hogging that apron into the grass goes the number six trying to cut the track up there they're ducking and weaving they're everywhere man we gotta find our way around them here we go underneath the number six car can we do anything with it we sent it in deep got on the apron popped it sideways we're gonna hold it the three cars to my back bumper help is coming by me boys help is coming by me i feel like at any moment somebody's gonna get shot up the hill here in front of me and i'm just very prepared for it it's like we all know what's gonna happen we're just waiting for it to happen look at that the four cars on the apron and he's sideways up ahead of me i think they're gonna get to my inside i'm gonna try and move up to the top man this bottom groove looks like it's going away grip wise now i'm gonna have to send it into turn number one and two hard because i gotta close this gap to the guys in front of me i got a traffic jam behind me everyone's running that bottom groove and they're making it work and unfortunately we are losing a lot of positions but we're carrying the draft up here on the outside man we're one of few willing to come up here and try it and try and make it work oh man here we go almost contact right there i thought the eight was gonna hook the four. Oh no they're hooked in front of me boys oh my goodness we're going to avoid that one somehow some way it's a fatality behind me Wow, too. You're you're just awesome job, dumb. Update, we are officially in the seventh position after everything worked itself out. But look at this, boys! The second position is sideways. He's on the apron. Oh, man, I don't know if this is going to work. He's going for a three-wide pass. He tried to go around the leader. They're really getting shuffled up. This is bringing me back into the picture. We're closing, boys. We're closing quick. I don't know how much longer they're going to make it because they are trying to take them three wide up there. Once again, the four is on the apron. Sideways. Where do you want to be, top or bottom? I feel like right now, as long as we 
avoid the crash, we're gonna be A-OK, -okay, but what if the crash does not happen? I'm to the back bumper of that 9. Let's try to give him a nice little bump draft on the back straightaway. Get him up to speed, get him shot into turn number 3 and 4. We're in the catbird seat, and you can definitely use the grass around here, as it's all fake grass. You can go down there and not really lose anything. 10 laps to go with fine. Respect to the guy leading it, because- Whoa! He may have just got turned right there! The bump drafting's picking up big right now, man. The bump drafting is picking up huge right now. Now, everyone's belling on the bottom groove. It's gonna be nine to go this time by at the line. Count them down, boys. Count them down. I feel like we might have a great shot to win this thing. Where is the four going? Man, I thought he was gonna run them all the way down to the grass. Did he just get turned up there? It's getting wild. I think I'm gonna try to go to the top. See what we can do up here. See if we can gain anything on the top group. We don't have much to lose here. Side by side for the sixth position. Oh, the apron goes to number four. Look out because they are three wide ahead of me. I'm going to tuck in behind the 13. Let them even this out because this may get pretty bad into turn number three and four. I don't know how he got back up onto the track, but bro, that four is looking dangerous with eight laps remaining. One more position and we are back inside the top five. How can we work over the number 13? I feel like we got to do it the same way. I feel like the bottom groove is just too strong around here. 13 is going up the hill. This is an opportunity. But once again, the bump drafting is just getting too crazy. Up front, big contact between the four and the inside group. Now the four is going up top to push the three who has been aggressive all day. I do not feel good about this. We have the two most aggressive drivers in the field. Up top, bump drafting with seven to go. Trying to find my way around this 13 car. I think I'm going to try to do it next time by coming off too. I'm going to have to take him higher. There's a bit of a gap to the guys in front of him. So if we time this right, we can hop back down to the bottom and still be on the bottom group while moving into the fifth position. But I just don't know if the guy behind me is going to go with me or if he's going to try to snag that position when I go up there. Trying to time it right. The leaders are wrecking each other. Hold on to it. Three wide. They're wrecking, boys. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Please don't kill me. Oh, man. Here we go, boys. A big run behind the 13. Thought about taking him three wide. The 13's going to block it. I'm going to give him a big shot up to the front, man. Going for the fourth position now. Can we take it? That 13 got shot up there with that bump draft. You knew it was a matter of time before everything got shaken off. That three's really trying to pin me down here. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. He's trying to get to the bottom groove. I just don't know, man. Everyone's moving up to the top now at the line. It's going to be five laps remaining. We're battling this thing out for the win. 13 is sideways ahead of me. I don't think we're done wrecking. This three is really trying to pin me down. And it's getting tied around here up to the fourth position. Can we do it? I'm to the back bumper of that 13, but unfortunately, there's just nowhere to take it at the moment. Now the question is, are they going to crash again? I think they may just have. Hopefully, we're not involved in it. Wow. Up to the third position. Dead behind me again. Now we have broken away from the guys behind us. What can we do from third? I think I'm going to try to get up there and go for it, boys. I think I'm going to try to get up there and go for it. I got to do it on the outside. Here we go. To the outside. Maybe we can use the lap car as a pick and do something with them here. I don't know how much the 13 has burned up his tires, but I can try holding it wide open, and I'm not going to lose very much here. It's going to be two laps to go at the line. As you can see, the 13 got more aggressive when I did that. He knew it was go time. He knows if I clear him, it might be game over. Now he's trying to shove him off up there. Back to the outside again. This is going to make the 13 try to do it down on the bottom. I just don't know if he's going to be able to. Two laps to go up the line. Watch the lap traffic ahead. Let's hope they don't play a factor. 13 thought about taking it to the outside that time. I know he's planning something for the final lap. I just can't really do anything without help. Even if I get to the outside of that 13, man. It's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed. I'm going to give him a shot, see if I can help him here. Coming to the white flag. I have not been able to get the outside of work. Now, he is going to pull down to the apron. The lap score is, and he's going to get out of the way. Coming to one lap to go from Charlotte. I hope this 13 fully commits here. I'm going to try to set something up coming off turn number two. That might be my only shot. He laid back a little bit. He's trying to set up a run. But what can he do, man? Can he get to his back bumper? He's going to try to get there. He's going high. He's going high, but this is going to open up the door down low if we can potentially take it. Can I give the 13 a bump, get them side by side, and maybe they'll wreck each other? Let's we'll see where the 13's going to go, top or bottom. Where is he going to go here, boys? Oh, man, he did not take that. I would have pushed him to the outside of the 13. See what we can do going out of three and four, man. I don't think it's going to be enough. Can the 13 do anything with him? He's there, boys. 
13 is there. Are they going to make any contact? Here we go. Let's see if he can get to him. There's contact ahead. Almost a crash at the line. It's going to officially be position number three. We took it to Charlotte. We survived the first crash of the day. We seen the eight come down to the 14. Eight car got sent around. We barely, nearly got around that one. And then we seen the three get tangled up with the six. They went four wide for the lead. The four car got sent around. He was strong all day. He was aggressive. And that really is what gave us a shock there at the win. It truly was an elimination process. The six went around, took out pretty much everyone else in that lead pack. Now, I would like to thank my Patreon members that I race with every Thursday. A night over on Twitch, as well as my Patreon VIP members. So, special thanks to CHTV, Joshua Kane, Sanquez Gregory, and Timothy Stubblefield. It was a fun one here today. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.